imagine I was this tall. We'd be in a museum. No, be dissecting no, in a circus. <laughs> We'd be dissecting you already, bro. What's up guys, David Nussbaum at Wheels Boutique here. Another beautiful day in Miami. So right here we have a 992 Carrera 4S and I gotta say, this is probably my favorite 992 Carrera that we've done. So not my favorite 992, there's been a couple turbos and GT3s that we've done that I like a little bit more, but from a Carrera standpoint, Carrera, Carrera S, Carrera 4, Carrera 4S, Carrera GTS, this is my favorite and it's not even close. So a little bit of backstory about this client of ours. Uh, he was a client of ours starting back in 2015. He used to work with Ben on a couple things. I think it was an AMG GT um, and another car that escapes me right now. Uh, but back in 2019, he had a Grand Prix white 991 point two gt3 that he bought it off a very famous collection um, of white porsches and it was a very rare color grand prix white we actually featured it on our channel back in 2019 so if you go through our back catalog and you look in the round, the, around the october um, fall winter uh, 2019 around there you'll see it the 991 gt3 when that car came we did an a Krapovich exhaust we did atri s104 scs they were a satin charcoal on the center and a gloss charcoal for the outer lip if my memory serves me correct if you guys go back to that channel to that uh video i should say and you love the wheels on that car let me know because we actually have those wheels in stock right now wow. exact set. so then after that car we did a dove gray 997 I believe it was a C4S and we did Anarchy AN35s. Now, when we transitioned from the HREs on his GT3 to Anarchies for his C4S 997 generation, he fell in love with Anarchy, he fell in love with the five spoke. And so when it came down to the 992 C4S that he just got, we went back into the, uh, the Anarchy, what the, what's the word I'm looking for? Playbook, bag, bag of tricks, wheel selection. And we did the RS 5.3C. He saw the RS 5.3C on our white 4 GT, which we also featured on this channel um, before. And the reason that he gravitated to that so much is because our 4 GT was white with no stripes. This is a white, which, or a version of white, which I'll get into in a little bit. And our 4 GT had the Brembo upgrade kit with the yellow calipers. This has the Porsche carbon ceramic brakes in yellow. And so the whole theme of our white 4 gt he absolutely fell in love with it he actually saw it when he came here to pick up his 997 c4s so we did the anarchy rs 5.3 c in the same wheel color combination as you can see it's a polished lip and for the center you have what anarchy calls a space blue it's essentially a satin blue um, very very cool color not a lot of uh, wheel companies are offering a blue and if they do it looks a little bit tacky if i'm being honest but this one is the perfect blend of um being in your face but but not also being uh being bland somewhere in the in the middle of that so i actually love 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 that now going to the car color we have what's called ice gray metallic now i'm being told it's one of the newer colors for 2023 we're out in the shade here, Marvin and I, because it's a lot easier to film the car in the shade. But if he is able to get this out in the sun, you're gonna see kind of how dynamic this color is. If I was able to describe it um, in, in terms that a lot of people might understand is, if you've seen chalk before, I would say it's like 50% it's like lighter than chalk. So, in chalk you think it's gray but then in certain lights you see it's white so same sort of concept with this in some angles it looks like a purely white car but then i'm standing here in the shade and it has a tint of almost blues and grays it's very difficult to explain i'm sorry probably making it more confusing than what it is but hopefully uh this camera that marvin is is piloting that's very very expensive can get some of that 
in there. Maybe this is a better showcase of the finish rather than my terrible explanation of it, of the ice cream metallic. Even this has metallic. But another thing that's really cool about this car is the interior. So this is going to be the very first time that Porsche is offering the Cognac and Heritage Houndstooth interior on a non-sport classic car. So of course they showed off the sport classic cars uh, last year and a lot of them had this as the interior as the option. So this is one of the very first cars in the world for 2023 that's applied on a non-sport classic. And I think it looks absolutely perfect. I love the Houndstooth. I'm a big sucker for the Houndstooth interior. I am a big sucker for any brown interior, especially when it's cognac. And of course, he has the seven speed manual, which I literally just noticed. So this might be my favorite 992 now that I see it is a manual. C4S, of course, you can't have the manuals on the turbos unless it's the expensive Sport Classic, limited edition Sport Classic, but this car is absolutely stunning. We did also the H&R Sport Springs, which we do across the, the board on 992s, and that gives a stance, really, really good stance. It's about uh, an inch and a half or approximately a 40, not 40, but probably 30 millimeters drop from the factory ride height. Another thing that we did was we replaced the sticker. So I'm not sure if Marvin got some footage of it when he had a gold sticker, but the car arrived with the same exact Porsche script side decal and it was in gold. I actually love the gold. I have photos of the gold. I think that obviously the gold wasn't matching with the yellow calipers, but it was close enough where you kind of saw, you know, this can, this can be, they can play off of each other. But I sent the client the photos. We did a mock-up of the blue and he went ahead and said, let's do it with the blue because it is a perfect match to the center faces of the Anarchy wheels. From a sizing perspective, we do what we typically do on this car, which is a 21 by nine and a half in the front and a 22 by 13 in the rear. Sometimes we'll do a 12 and a half if the car is not gonna be dropped, but since this car is dropped, we did a 22 by 13 in the rear, which is absolutely massive. This car from factory comes with a 21 by 11 and a half, if I'm not mistaken. Tire sizes up front, we're gonna do a 255, 30, 21. In the rear, we're doing a 335, 25, 22. So these wheel sizes, and tire sizes are exactly the same sizes that we can do on the 992 Turbo, 992 GTS, you name it. So Carreras can, can achieve this wheel fitment as well. And in addition to that, just look at it. I mean, the stance is absolutely perfect. You have a flush fitment with the bodywork. There's absolutely no rubbing. We can do the same diameters even if you're on factory ride height. So, um, you know, it doesn't matter what version of 992 you have whether it be GT3, GTS, Targa, convertible, coupe, we can do this fitment for you. One more thing that I wanted to talk about is that these wheels are custom built. So guys, do not forget about that. A lot of times somebody will say that it's too big, it looks too big, looks too big, looks too big, and everybody likes something a little bit different. This customer absolutely loves the larger sizes. On his 997, for example, we did 20 by nine and 20 by 13. So he's running a 345 tire on that 997 wide body. On his GT3, his GT3 came with 20 some factories. He did 21s front and rear. So, you know, this wheel, since it's custom built, we can do them in the smaller sizes. We can do them in the 20 in the front and 21 inch in the rear, essentially the same size that the car comes with. We can even do those diameters and have them a little bit wider if you want more tire than what the car comes with from factory. And when you do the wider tires, it opens up some more options like Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2, Cup 2 R's even, Pirelli Trofeos. So the beauty of these wheels is that no matter what size you can think of, close your eyes and you do it, they can be achieved with the anarchies. Um, I'm kind of sad now that I think about it that we didn't do an exhaust for this because I know how good the 992 generation platform sounds when it has an aftermarket exhaust, whether that be from IPE or Acro. We've featured both of those on the channel many, many times before. And we did the Acro on his 991 GT3. So maybe down the road, I can convince him to do that. Um, he doesn't live in Miami, so he always transports the cars a little bit uh, further south for us. He's a little bit more central and northern Florida, but I'm in constant communication with him. I already sent him the photos. He loves it and as a show of appreciation 
he's actually going to mail me some cigars that I'm going to smoke tomorrow night with a nice cognac. So I'm very excited for that. I'm very excited to get him the car. He's gonna love it. I know it, it looks great. It drives great. Inside it looks great. So I mean, I think I've just convinced myself that this is probably my favorite 992. I know I said at the beginning of the video, so I'm contradicting myself, but I mean, just look at it. Let us know what you guys think about this car. Go to our website. I would love for you, for you guys to go to our website, wheelsboutique.com, go to our gallery, sort our gallery by 992s, and try and pick out what your favorite 992 is that we've done. Um, a couple that come to mind is we did an orange one out in California on some bronze HRE R101 lightweights, more of a performance-minded uh, build. Um, you know, this one right here, this will be up on the, on the website very soon, as soon as Mar Marvin gets the editing done for the photos, but um, comment on the comment section below subscribe follow us hit the bell icon and i'm just going to snap some photos right now because he did ask me for some photos and i'll see you guys on the next one to stall it, try not to do burnouts, um, pretty nervous, what about you? I'm pretty nervous. Tell them, tell them your car joke. Uh, what do you call a broken car? What do you call a broken car? What do you, what do you call a broken car? You call it nothing. A what? You call it nothing. You call it mechanic. There you go. Nice <laughs> delivery. So on that note, this has 400 and 68 or 469 cubic inches of American V8. It's a six speed. I'm not even sure you can hear me over the engine, but this thing feels like it's from a different planet compared to compared to the cars that I drive use, use normally. I can't even speak words. I'm trying to make up my own words with like used to leave and things of that nature, but this thing sounds absolutely amazing. Hopefully you guys can hear us. Hopefully Marvin can pump up the volume, but let's give it a little bit of gas. <laughs> it's got brand new brakes. I believe they are Brit Bear brakes, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we've got some Anarchy wheels on this, so once we get back to the shop, I will show you guys what it looks like on the exterior. Uh, we're about to sell the car, sadly. Ben bought it on a whim. We did a bunch of upgrades. We uh, did a brand new six speed, a bunch of other stuff, the anarchy wheels, things like that. Um, and the paint is like glass. It is absolutely beautiful. So the next owner is gonna be extremely happy with it. But I wanna get some more reactions of my nephew James. You ready?
Well, the extent that I asked him to drive the car for our YouTube channel, but... I'm not afraid anything. Got it, buddy, got it. So, hopefully, this, uh, it's a little bit different from what we usually do. We usually film a car outside, but we've already done the modifications to it. Uh, but since this is one of our own, I thought, hey, why not? Let's, uh, drive this 50 plus year old car. Hopefully, try not to break it, try not to stall it. We'll smell like gasoline. My sister's gonna be like, where the heck did you take my son? But it'll be worth it. He's gonna watch our YouTube channel. He's gonna see himself on YouTube and maybe even make your own channel, right? Probably, maybe. In the, in the video this paint is like glass it is absolutely gorgeous a 1968 Camaro SS the six-speed over 450 cubic inches it's got anarchy wheels now Marvin and I weren't sure because this could be anywhere from a retro series RS 4.3 to an anarchy AM 38 but since it's such a weird design in the sense of the center face is pushed into the barrel I can't even tell um, what design it is because typically this would be all the way out to the outer edge and the spokes would float over the step lip but on a car with ha that has very 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 low offsets like this car does you're allowed to push the center face deep into the barrel and that's how you get that big lip new cars have much higher uh, offsets so you go don't get as big of a lip but that's one of the beauties of an old school car and that's why i think this might be a retro series wheel from anarchy because i don't think ben would have picked something uh too too modern for that but um if you guys have any questions about this car or about the sale of this car let us know make sure you email me david at wheels boutique and i I want to bring my my nephew back in here for some final words so anybody that's watching for us what do they need to do um subscribe beautiful what else um like the like the video right like the video comment comment down and below what's your favorite video exactly comment down below man you're a pro so say bye to the camera bye camera see you guys later you already heard the man you know what to do so let us know give us a call if you need anything else and we hope you enjoy this little mini clip